ABC General Hospital spoilers revealed that although Jordan was a police officer, she had no way to continue investigating the shooting at Metro Court. The victim who was shot was Curtis, but he was definitely the one who was accidentally hit. The sniper's target may be Anna. Anyway, Jordan must find the mastermind behind this incident, first to get justice for Curtis and then to be able to eliminate the danger for Anna. But the FBI intervened in this matter and they did not allow Jordan to continue the investigation. Jordan doesn't give up easily. She will ask Brick to help her continue investigating this. Only Brick is the most suitable person who can help Jordan complete the search for the mastermind. Jordan's not satisfied if he cannot be the person. Who harmed Curtis? Of course, Brick was to be extremely careful and discreet, so the FBI doesn't discover him. Meanwhile, Sasha will receive a shocking call informing her that Gladys has passed away in a horrific traffic accident. Gladys has left Los Angeles, so Sasha rarely contacts her. Besides, Sasha still hasn't forgotten the hurt that Gladys caused to Sasha. She planned to wait a while until she was calmer, then come back. But before Sasha could do that, she received news that Gladys had passed away. It was a sudden traffic accident, and the only person the police could contact was Sasha. Perhaps Sasha will have to leave Los Angeles to identify the body. On the way, Sasha prayed that it was just some mistake and that Gladys was safe. But the person who had the accident was Gladys, which made Sasha extremely sad. Even though she was angry with Gladys, Sasha never wanted her to leave so suddenly. Elsewhere, Esme's run away, making things more complicated. Spencer took baby Ace from Esme and gave it to Nicholas. It was clear that Spencer's actions directly angered Esme. After Spencer went to Paris with Trina, Esme also disappeared. That made Laura feel confused. Esme's mentality is not stable, so Laura's afraid Esme will do something foolish. Laura even went to the prison to see Heather. She wanted to ask Heather if Heather knew where Esme had gone. Unfortunately, Laura did not receive any useful information from Heather. Laura decided to notify the police so they could organize a search for Esme. Esme might harm others, so they had to quickly find her. After receiving the report, Chase and Dante immediately went to work. They tried to track down the clues Esme left behind and make predictions about where she might go.